Hi everyone, this is Johnny Keys coming at you. My name is Johnson and today I'm going to break down Asida by Nasi on the piano. So this is actually his new single and the song was recorded in the key of D major. In the key of D, we have D as one, E is two, F sharp is three, G is four, A is five, B is six, C sharp is seven, back at one. Right before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, you are so welcome. You can become a part of us just by hitting on the subscribe button right below the video. Make sure you click on the bell icon so YouTube will notify you anytime I post a new video. Let's start off with the introduction as this song is having three different parts. Intro, verse, and chorus. So let's start with the introduction. So um, they start off like this. Uh, you know, the lead guitar do stuff and they start off right here. simple right so I'm having D F sharp and a in my left you can add a B as well all right so right here so I have D F sharp and a right and I'm doing that arpeggio then it goes to I'm doing E a, C sharp in my left, right hand, A, E, C sharp. You get it. So, um, after the second time, they do, uh, right, so I'm having F sharp, G, back to F sharp, and A. Your left hand, you're going to do the same chord, right? So, and then you do, now I'm having this left hand, G, right hand, G and B. Oh, we can do just this. Alright, so we have Alright. So let me do the let me do the intro with the track. You want you get it better. So I hope you get an intro, right? Then we get into the verse. But what I'm hearing in the song is like the pianist is still doing that pattern, like, you know. But this time he moves to a higher octave, you know, than the previous one. So he stays around this octave, right? So what is happening is this is the chord left hand i have a and e right hand a b c sharp and e right so if you if you have two people playing right one person can do just this you know and then the other one who's holding the chords you know just do chords i mean and if you have a bass player then you you wouldn't need to do this you just do chords right right so from here we move on to this uh, so left hand I have D A and D right hand okay so you realize I've inverted the chord now instead of doing this I did D A I'm sorry F sharp A D and F sharp okay so you do it a couple of times right all that why you hear that you know loop right 
then it gets to the um the chorus if I have to put it that way. Alright, so it start off from here. Left hand is F sharp, right hand is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and E. So Next chord is B in my left right hand is F sharp, A, um, B, and D. Next chord I have C sharp in my left right hand. Next chord I have D. I think we already know this chord, right? So. Now we're gonna do this. I have C and F sharp in my left right hand is D, F sharp and A. Which would take us to this. Left hand is G, right hand is B, D, and G. Let me play that little section to that point. So So from here, we're going to do left hand, I have the E, so right hand you can do G, um, A, A sharp, and the D. But because of the melody, you can put the E on top, so you have this. Alright. So melody. So um, again. Hit this chord. We're gonna do A in the left F, right hand is F sharp A and D, and uh, the next thing left hand stays on the A, right hand is uh, G A C sharp and E, right? So again, so from here we go back to where we started from, which is the D major. So again. Repeat it a couple of times. Uh, I hope this helps. Let me know what you think about the video in the comment section.